and I'm calling. Sorry, the time is 9 a.m. and I'm calling this meeting to order. Good morning. I'm Mark McLeany with the Office of Planning and Environmental Re Review, and I'll be serving as today's zoning officer. Stephanie Townsend will be serving as the ZA secretary and timekeeper. This is the Sacramento County Zoning Administrator's hearing for June 2nd, 2021, and this hearing is being recorded. I will now read the announcement. In compliance with directives of the county, state, and Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, this meeting is live streamed and closed to the public. Temporary procedures are subject to change pursuant to guidelines related to social distancing and minimizing person-to-person -person contact. To make a verbal comment at today's meeting, dial 916-875-2500 and follow the prompts to be placed in the queue for a specific item or off agenda matter. When I open public comment for a specific agenda item or off agenda matter, you will be transferred from the queue into the meeting to make a verbal comment. Written comments are always accepted. Send your email comment to boardclerk at stackcounty.net. Your comment will be routed to the board and filed in the record. To appeal a decision made here, um, the decision here may be appealed within 10 days to the Board of Zoning Appeals, and the fee is $3,935. Then um, next, please follow the meeting procedures and best practices if you are a presenter. Speak from a handset or headset, mute devices when not speaking to minimize background noise, announce your name when speaking on an agenda item so all participants and listeners are aware who has the floor. And if Stephanie, you'd like to administer the oath, start. Yes. Please raise your right hand and the appropriate responses I do. Do you swear the testimony you are about to give is the truth? So help you God, if you do not swear, do you so affirm? Let me just make sure the applicants are unmuted. Uh, this is Charlie Brown with CC Planning Services. I affirm. Thank you. Is that all who's going to be speaking? Uh, Sonny, I'm here. If necessary, I will speak. Okay. Um, Stephanie, if you can call the first item. Item one is to approve the action summary from the May 19th, 2020 or 2021 meeting. Okay, I hereby approve the action summary from the May 19th, 2021 Zoning Administrator hearing. Go on to the second item. Item two, Burger King at Alberta Crossing, located on the northwest corner of the intersection of Watt Avenue and Black Saddle Drive in the Antelope community. The request is for a conditional use permit and design review. Environmental doc is accept. Okay. And uh, are you ready, David, for your presentation? Yeah. Um, Thank you. Stephanie, if you could pull up the, the PowerPoint. Yes, one moment. So we have the PowerPoint up. Go ahead, David. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Good morning. This is David Ulrey, the uh, project planner for the Burger King at Alberta Crossing project. Next slide, please. Uh, so the existing conditions, the site is part of the uh, Alberta Crossing Shopping Center and is currently developed with parking. Um, it is important to note that this uh, shopping center did undergo a transition from more of a retail use to a storage uh, center in the last uh, year or so. So um, that's 
reduce the need for parking. Um, next slide, please. Here we have the proposed site plan and landscape plans. Um, they are meeting the minimum stacking requirements for drive throughs Next slide, please. Here we have the 3D perspectives. Uh, this design was reviewed by the Design Review Advisory Committee and recommended for approval. Next slide, please. And here we have the proposed uh, elevations. And next slide, we have some more um, elevations as well. Next slide, please. So key points, uh, the ZA is the final approval body. Uh, the project's consistent with noise standards outlined in the general plan and will meet all zoning code development standards. The draft did recommend approval of the project on January 28th, um, three yes, uh, zero no. CPAC recommended approval of the project on March 4th and public notice was sent out to property owners and residents within 500 feet of the subject property. And next slide, please. So staff recommends that the zoning administrator recognize the exempt status of the request under section 15303 of the California Environmental Quality Act, approve the conditional use permit subject to the findings and conditions listed in attachment two, and find the project in substantial compliance with the countywide design guidelines subject to the findings and conditions of attachment two. And that concludes my presentation. Um, I can answer any questions. The applicant team is also in attendance. Right. Thanks, David. Yeah, well, that landscaping looks really nice to, to that. That looks like a good addition. Yeah, I don't really have any questions for you. It was a nice presentation. Thank you very much. Um, so let me open it up to um, Stephanie. Do we have any public comments or anything for the project? We do not have any written comments, and we do not have anybody on the line to speak. Okay. And then to the uh, applicant team, um, do you have anything to add or any questions? Have you read the staff report and are comfortable with the conditions of approval? Uh, this is Charlie Brown with uh, CC Planning Services. Yes, uh, I've gone through the staff report. Everything uh, looks uh, to be in order. and. Uh, we just look forward to seeing this project uh, under construction. Okay, and then I'm going to close the public comment. Thank you for, and I don't really have any questions. It looks pretty straightforward. And I've read the staff report, and it looks like the, the landscaping will really benefit the whole complex, and especially the, the future Burger King. Um, the, the CPAC did approve it. The project is consistent with the general plan standards, the Antelope Community Plan, and the zoning code. It uh, was reviewed by design review and found consistent with that. It's also consistent with the noise standards in the general plan. Project is also exempt from CEQA and the findings are adequate. I hereby approve the use permit. And then so the project approved, there's a 10 day appeal. Once the 10 days elapses, we'll mail out the use permit to you. That takes good. Uh, Item number three, staff update. Um, are we done, the Burger King people? Can we? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I approved the use permit. And like I said, there's a there's a 10-day appeal yeah. that we have to wait for. Once the 10-day appeal elapses, we'll go ahead and mail out or email out. I'm not sure exactly how good it gets you, but the actual use permit. So then it'll Thank be you very, out. very much, gentlemen. We our oh, hope is to try and open this this year. A building will support us. So we yeah, can create cool. more jobs here. Yeah, I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you very Take much. Care. Bye. And then, uh, okay, so uh, a staff update. We, we may not have uh, any staff update. I'll wait a couple more seconds. Then we'll move on to zoning officer comments. I don't have any comments um, currently. And uh, Stephanie will check to see if there's any public comments. No, we do not have any public comments. Okay. Then we can move to adjournment. Um, 
I do want to say that the next zoning administrator meeting is scheduled for June 16th, 2021. And the deadline to file an appeal for a project today would be Monday, June 14th, 2021 by 5 p.m. That concludes the uh, zoning hearing meeting today. Thank you.